Welcome back guys. Today we're doing a small project. We're doing a dry rock stack flower bed in front of someone's house. A couple of tools we're gonna use today, some of my favorites. First off, obviously the McLeod is the best tool, just all around. I can use this for anything at any point in time. Definitely highly suggest it. It's like a $60 tool, but it'll last a long time. And I've made a lot of money with this tool. If I had any tool and I could choose one, it'd be this one right here. And of course, your basic tarp, as you can see in the video, I pile dirt on top of this and drag it wherever I need to. So now I can put that in the back of my truck, and not have to carry a wheelbarrow. Maybe it's a little more strenuous, but I'm pretty fit and it works out really well in all the other projects. The weed eater. This is a DeWalt weed eater. I wanna give a big shout out to DeWalt. I actually had broken one of these, some kind of thing, called them up, warranty, sent me a brand new one within like 48 hours. Thank you, DeWalt, customer service team rocks. So, but hi, the Delbigan, toss that out of the way. Moving on to the leaf blower. Every one of my videos, you guys see me using the leaf blower so much. It's because I like a clean work area, but in hand with the leaf blower, uh, you have to charge these batteries. So with that being said, you gotta recharge these. And I have a small EcoFlow battery supply that I can recharge about three of these with it. But the problem with that is, is that I'm probably gonna need more on larger jobs. So I actually have a solution for that. So, and we'll get to that big boy over here maybe in the next video, stay tuned on that one. Moving equipment, and this is from uh, Backslope Tool. So anytime I'm unloading those rocks, I'm actually able to set this on there and drag it and carry a much larger rock than I would by myself. Or if I have a buddy, they've got these really convenient handles cut out that I didn't really like at first, but you actually can slide poles through these and have a two-man tote with it and carry some really big rocks. So really enjoying that. Just like everybody else knows, the next step is probably gonna be like a flathead shovel. I actually take the flathead shovel and I sharpen down the front edge. With a McLeod and a flathead shovel, I pretty much can repair and do kind of anything, not as fine-tuned as possible, but good enough for anybody else's standards. Those are my basic tools I'm gonna to use. And this right here has been great for all my camping stuff you've seen in other videos. But for larger projects, we're probably gonna to have to get into this bad boy, the Eco Max. Stay tuned, because we're gonna do some uh, building at larger projects where I'm gonna to have to recharge batteries six to seven times in the same day while I'm working. And we'll touch base more on this one and then. 